It seemed like an impossible dream, but all big dreams had their magic moment with that first step to overcome the fear of failure and just start taking the first step. What a milestone it was for me on that very first day when I was there with my, my coach and my cousin and of course my friend Don Alder as they were preparing in the motorhome. And you know, they were organized, but they weren't perfectly organized. They ended up deciding that, that they uh, ran out of room and they put all the spare wheelchair equipment on top of the motorhome, which you can see. And that motorhome essentially was, uh, was loaded with a big wooden crate on the top. And we were there at the Oak Ridge Mall. We were waiting to kick off and I was wheeling through the crowd and then underneath the tunnel. And as I got closer, to the tunnel, uh, I realized that it was looking like it was uh, pretty low and I kept going, but of course my friends got in the motorhome and they tried to catch up to me and what did they do? They hit an overheight warning bar that was in front of the tunnel and they sent a crew member up to the top of the motorhome to be able to actually lift the bar up so the motorhome could keep going. So instead of turning around, they kept going and they went straight into the top of the overpass that that bar was warning them about with boxes crashing everywhere right on national television. You can imagine the confidence of those 200 well-wishers at that moment. This guy is going around the world in a wheelchair. He can't even get out of the parking lot. Good luck. <laughs> oh man. Isn't that the way it happens sometimes when we have these big goals and dreams. We have uh, our mistakes and we mess things up. It's never perfect and we find humor. And then of course we, we just keep going and we move forward.